On February 8th, Hoboken City Council held a town meeting to discuss the Washington Street Redevelopment Plan proposed by TNM Design Group. The $15 million project proposes repaving Washington Street, a renovation of water and power main breaks, bike lanes, change driving and parking lanes, as well as newly designed landscape for Washington Street. Representatives for the TNM Design Group gave a presentation for the proposed plan in front of City Council and a full house of concerned residents and business owners showing the new concept for Washington Street. One of the major changes that would come would be the addition of a six-foot bike lane on both sides of Washington Street, which would ultimately eliminate double parking, a common practice for shoppers, which is a major concern for most business owners. Former Mayor Roberts addressed City Council and the public to stress dire need to rejuvenate Washington Street, but to keep in mind the lifestyle of Hoboken businesses for what they are. And I'm here tonight because I thought, as this plan was going to substantially impact many of those families and business owners, in particular, the area where there will not be in this plan a place where a car could stop, run out, pick up a sandwich or dry cleaning or drop a child or a senior off. There's just no place to do that. And I think that's worthy of your oversight. Many of the business owners are concerned about that and they're very anxious. So am I. Eugene Flynn, owner of Amanda's Cafe Legion, Schneckenberg's proposed moving bike lanes off of Washington Street and away from the heavy flow of business, stating, we want an appropriate place for the bikes to be for safety and for everyone's safety. I said to the reporter today that it said the front page Sunday, the business is no bikes. We never said that. We said we want an appropriate place for the bikes to be for safety, for everyone's safety. There's buses, there's deliveries, there's tractor trailers that come on Washington Street. Let's move with this plan with an amendment that we can put the bike lanes off of Washington Street to make it safer for the bikers themselves. Armando Luis, owner of Sparrow's Wine and Liquor Company and La Isla Restaurant, stressed the usefulness of the ability to double park for his companies, but for all businesses on Washington Street as well. The biking lane inside of, uh, between the sidewalk and, and, and the parking spaces is a bad idea. Uh, it's an idea that uh, would probably paralyze my business uh, between La Isla and Sparrow alone. Uh, there is at least, there's between 12 and perhaps 24 hours a week of offloading depending on the season. If this plan goes into effect, every single delivery is going to have to be made from a delivery space. The guy delivering a pizza, the guy delivering an envelope, the FedEx truck, which I've, I've, the same driver, has, I wish he was here, so we've had the same driver on Washington Street for almost the whole time that I've been there. The guy delivers all, all up and down the street. Okay? When, if, that, if his only option is to park in a, in a, in a drop-off zone, he will be there for an hour. Ernie Reyes from Ace Hardware had attended a previous redesign meeting and posed a question asking whether the bike lanes were being put in place to encourage biking or to eliminate double parking. And according to Reyes, the answer he was given was to eliminate double parking. Meeting on Friday, I had one question. My question was to Mike Manzala. My question was, uh, are the bike lanes here to encourage biking or are they here to eliminate double parking or permit the parking? And he said it's here to eliminate Double Park. There's a whole depot less than a mile from my store. It has park. It's free park. Okay? You will significantly impact my business if you take away the, that incremental park. That's temporary two-minute parking where you can run in, make a key, and leave. This is Michael Rodriguez for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.